Hello, this is Extal. Today we'll be creating the X-ray, night vision filters, and lens distortion effect as requested in the comments. Before diving into the actual process, let's first take a look at the mood board to refine the visual direction we want to achieve. Let's get started. First, select the movie file in Node in Touch Designer to import the video you want to apply the effect to. This node is used to load video files from external sources and serves as the input source for your project. Let's start by connecting the Luma Level node to the first node and adjusting its parameters. The Luma Level node modifies the brightness range of the input image allowing us to emphasize or compress specific luminance values. This is particularly useful for achieving high contrast and precise tonal adjustments in X-ray and night vision effects. Now let's fine-tune the parameters to achieve the desired look. After connecting the threshold node, we can adjust its parameters. The threshold node binarizes the input image based on a defined threshold value, creating a stark contrast between dark and bright areas. This helps enhance strong contrasts and emphasize silhouettes in the effect. After connecting the level node, let's adjust its parameters. The level node provides precise control over the image's brightness and contrast by adjusting the black point, white point, gamma and contrast. This allows us to emphasize specific tonal ranges or make smooth adjustments to create the desired visual style. Next, we'll bring in the constant node and connect it. The constant node generates a fixed color value, allowing us to easily apply the desired color to the background or specific elements. For this effect, we'll set it to a bluish hue as seen in the mood board. This color plays a crucial role in emphasizing the X-ray and night vision filter effects, helping to achieve the desired atmosphere. As you can see, we connect the Comp Edge and HSV Adjust nodes in sequence. The Comp node combines images, the Edge node enhances the edges to make the details sharper, and the HSV Adjust node fine-tunes the hue saturation and value to optimize the visual style. Activate the Select Input in the Comp node. The Select Input is an option that allows you to receive multiple inputs, enabling you to selectively choose which images or textures to composite. This feature allows for more precise compositing by adjusting various layers. Next, we'll add the Lens Distort node on top of the filter to apply a camera lens effect. The Lens Distort node introduces lens distortion to the image creating a bulging lens effect that can warp or magnify the image. Adjust the detailed parameters to fine tune and achieve the optimal lens effect.
Try connecting the resolution node. The resolution node is used to adjust the resolution of an image or video. By using this, you can change the final output's resolution or tweak the details to achieve the optimal performance and visual quality. This time, we'll use the over, circle, and blur nodes to create a convex lens effect that looks like an actual camera lens. First, we'll use the over node to composite multiple layers, then apply the circle node to emphasize the center or mask specific areas in a circular shape. Afterward, the blur node is used to blur the edges of the image, simulating the bokeh effect seen in the out-of-focus areas of a camera lens. This combination allows us to replicate the feel of an actual camera lens. Adjust the details and experiment with the parameters. By fine-tuning the settings of each node, you can find the right mood for the convex camera lens effect that fits your video. This allows you to control lens distortion focal effects and blur levels to achieve the optimal visual result. Finally, bring in the out node to prepare for exporting the video file. The out node outputs the final visual result, allowing you to export the entire project as a video file. By setting this node, you can export the file in the desired format and resolution. After importing the audio data using the audio file in Node, let's add a more trendy feel. Once the audio file is loaded, we'll connect it to the threshold node's parameters, making it react to the beats of the audio. This will cause the threshold value to change in real time, according to the beats synchronizing the visuals with the audio and creating a more dynamic and trendy effect.
Use the detailed controls of the audio device out to adjust the size of the beats and control the movement of the visuals. The audio device out node allows you to manage the system's audio output, sending the audio signal to external devices. By adjusting the parameters of this node, you can fine tune the beat size, allowing the visuals to react precisely to the intensity or strength of the audio. This enables you to synchronize the audio and visuals more accurately. Everything is set up now. Feel free to adjust the filter parameters to create a visual that matches your personal taste. You can fine-tune the values of each node or apply additional effects to transform the final result into something unique and tailored to your style. The tutorial is finished. I wish you the best in creating great work today, and the effect we created today can be found on Patreon. I recommend trying to make it yourself first, and if it's difficult, you can download the file. If you found this video interesting, please leave a comment. Bye.